Hello! Welcome to League of Legends. I'm Amelia. I'm Kaz. And this is our coach. Hi, guys. I'm pretty sure it's just my parents watching this at this point. <laughs> so, coach, Sam. Yes, that is me. Mm -hmm. uh, we're joining in a little bit. We're like four minutes in right now. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. We got them sorted. So we're going to have... I don't know. Do you want the run through of the lanes that we're looking at right now? Uh, yes. So show us what we're looking at right now. We're looking at a Teemo Alawi top lane. That's what we're looking at right now. Um, Teemo's the blue team. That's our guy. Um, that's, I forget who that is actually. That's going to be, that's Tavian today. Um, he's got some range. He's got some poison. He's got some poke. We're going to look for him to be a general rat around the field. See, that's a funny joke because he's a yordle, which is a rat in lore. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love lore. It's so interesting, like the world building of... I'm so right, bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so much better at hit button kill champion than I am at the lore behind it. <laughs> All right, so the players today, who are, we, who are they playing right now? So Jedi Ninjas is on the screen right now. Who is he uh, playing? He is playing Lucian, a gunslinging, killing machine. Wonderful. That, that's a really good introduction to him. <laughs> um, also in that lane, the guy with the Santa sack behind him, that's Tiger. He's playing Milio right now. Um, a nice little healing support, still pretty new to the game. Was a new champ of, uh, three months ago, somewhere in there. Interesting. So, so we'll see a lot more action from him today. Hopefully, yes. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a lot of kills. They're just kind of... So we're in the farming phase of the game right now, where they're just trying to get levels. But as you can tell based on the 3 to 5 score line, they're kind of, um... They're kind of whacking each other and being very aggressive in this stage here. So... Uh, we've got some low health guys across the map, but that's... That's where it ends up at. Um... Go ahead. So right now we're following our opponents. Who are we going up against right now? Or do we know? Uh, a yeah, whole know. bunch of randoms. We know the champs they are, but they're not like a specific school or anything right now. That'll come in a couple weeks. Weeks? Weeks. 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 Yes. Wonderful. I, so we're just getting some practice in right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, casual online play with some online folks. I can tell you the champs and what they play, but I can't tell you who they are or how they play the champs. All right, who is Hood Life playing right now? Um, that is Zach. He is a giant slime blob who can Thank fling you. himself across the map like a bouncing ball. Wow. And when he dies, does not die, but becomes a whole bunch of slime balls that then recoalesce into him. That is amazing. Okay. Oh, my gosh. He is one of the most irritating champions to try and kill in the game. <laughs> And as you can tell, he turned. He's like slime meets the Hulk. Awesome. Like we just watched him kind of wail on some people there. Um, that giant spider is our enemy team jungler. That's Elise. She's a spider woman. That checks out. Yeah. So, what positions are we playing right now? So, who is Iray is playing top? Is that Iray is playing top? Um, Zach uh, Hood Live, as we just saw, is. Our jungler, um, the guy we just watched die, is Antithesis, also known as Ferris. He's not on our team, but he's playing our mid lane. And then we have <sighs> uh, Truman as Jedi down in the ADC, who just chased down that kill that we saw a couple seconds ago. And Milio is Tiger. One very aggressive name for a very calm champion. <laughs> <sighs> oh, and... What just happened there? What did we what did we just see? We watched the enemy jungler take a farm camp. Um, just so our laners have these cute little adorable minions that come in like various shapes and sizes to farm on, but our junglers have various jungle monsters and minions they have to take on to get their levels. So they come in different shapes and sizes and flavors, but it's the same general idea of farming to get levels. All right. So. Lots of action going on. Ooh, ooh, we might see Zach flinging himself across the map here in a second. Nope, decided not to engage on that. 
we're kind of hopping around the map right now, but right now we're in mid lane. We are, and we're watching our mid laner get put to sleep and murdered oh. brutally. Um, so, ooh, that was Zach flying in across the map, coming in on the pinch to get a couple kills. We've got a 3v3, so we have both junglers in the bot lane. Right now, it's a one for one trade. That's done. It's gonna come in handy. Looks and like we're taking some damage. We are. Ooh, ooh, two for two right now. Lucian barely squeaks that kill out. Um, very low health, as you can see. He has to be a little bit careful that he doesn't die to minions. That does, in fact, happen. <laughs> uh, but he's going to be feeling pretty good with himself. He got a couple kills and a couple shutdowns, so he should be most of the way into an item right now. How are you feeling about the farming right now with your team? Uh, top lane's kind of losing, as we can tell based on the fact that we're just watching the enemy murder the turret. <laughs> Um, our bot lane's looking really good. Our mid doesn't know how to play against a Zoe. Um, obviously, I have intimate knowledge of him and how he works, and I know that he doesn't play against Zoe's very often. So mm -hmm. he's going to be having some trouble with that. And looking at the level difference, our mid laner's a level 8, their mid laner's a level 9, so we're clearly feeling that struggle there. Just like we are top lane. Our top laner is level 7, and theirs is level 9. Ooh, that's not good. But if you look bot lane, our ADC is level 7, our support's level 6, and we both have a level up on both of their other side. And we can see that coming in in that sheer amount of damage that Lucian just put forth. He's got a very fast engage, and he's using that very, very well. So things are looking pretty even right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, our bot lane definitely has the edge, but we're definitely losing top lane. Mm-hmm. Um, so mid and jungle are going to kind of be the determining factors. We see the enemy jungle coming in for a gank, but she's a little late. So instead of swinging the favor on their side into a 3v2, she came in a little late, and she's going to get 2v1. <laughs> Successful on our side, it looks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gorgeous triple kill. That's Auction swinging around everywhere and dying again brutally. <laughs> yep. Yep. He will figure out that that drowsy does a lot of damage to him. So, Teemo's just playing some defense, taking down some of the tentacles that go slap, slap, slap on the ground. Whew. Let's see. So, we're even on kills right now, 10-10. We're down about 1,000 gold right now, which isn't terrible. It's not great, could be better, but our gold is where we need it to be, which is our mm -hmm. um, carry bot lane. That's what we're playing through right now with this team comp, is counting on the bot lane to get damage, to get really painful, and then swing up into team fights, and really just do a lot of damage. I see a lot of people on the map moving about through the river. Is It, it is the river. It is the... Hey, it, it's, that it's literally a giant river. <laughs> yeah, okay. I figured. I figured. Things are not very deceptively labeled. <laughs> um, looks like we're going to be having a team fight. It was originally around Rift Herald, but now Red Team has a kill and they're just kind of chasing see what they can't get. Um, it's important to note, that was a support kill, our ADC did not come up for that fight. So in the enemy team, you have the ADC, the support, the jungle, and the mid laner were all in there, and the top laner. So it's a five. We've only got three in there right now. So we're playing on the defense, but we're hoping that we can get some other objectives, like that bot turret that we're going after, and getting our top level or our top laner leveled up about the same. Mm -hmm. So that's the play right there, is try and play from behind a little bit, do what we can, and not completely die. It worked. We got the first turret out of it. That's a pretty good um, little advantage. It's an extra 150 gold. And as you can tell, their support's having to come down that bot lane there and respawn mm -hmm. to the pressure we're putting on. Um, that right there was a kill off of Teemo's poison. Um, we're going to be seeing that come into a lot more play as he gets more items and gets more damage down. That can really be a good finisher. And it looks like they're attacking Shelly right now. They are attacking Shelly. Um, it'll be interesting. You can see our jungler moving up in the ping. They clearly know they're there. They have vision in that ward and dragon pit. It'll be interesting to see if they're willing to challenge it or if they're just going to let it ride. Our jungler definitely is looking for the steal. Comes in and gets the steal and collects the eye. That was gorgeous. Wow. As a jungle main, that was truly beautifully gorgeous. He's going to die for it. Um, there's our top laner coming up into support in our mid lane. 
Ooh, he's going to get out of that. We're going to... Ooh. I feel like this is going to be a very successful play. I, you know, even if we hadn't gotten the kill and our jungler had died, it would have still been a successful play. Mm -hmm. We just won even harder. It would have been gorgeous if we got that Ash kill, but as you can tell, we're about to chew through the second bot turret while she's gone. So, you know, they're going to have to really start responding to the pressure we have on that bot lane. And in fact, there's Zoe, she's their mid laner, coming down to try and support, get some... Was Oh, Shelly was summoned for the top lane. Shelly okay. was summoned for the top lane. Um, so we've talked a little bit about how the Rift Herald can be used to advance a lane that's already winning or try and neutralize a lane that's le losing. They used it top lane. Top lane's losing. They're trying to just neutralize it a little bit, get some gold going. Our ADC is just chewing through these guys. Like, look at that. That was like a two-second kill on that. Amazing. Support. Um, going to be another one there. Maybe a Quadra here. I think Zoe can run away from him, but he is chasing her down. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a gorgeous oh. quadra kill right there. And we're going to get the ace. Amazing. So I see I Ray just taking down those plants again. Yeah. Tentacles. Tentacles. Sorry. No, tentacles. you're good. They're ten it's really obvious when they're tentacles when they go slap, slap, slap on the ground. All right. <laughs> I mean, I know uh, that top lane's also really turning around. So I'm pretty happy with how this is going right now. Now we're following our jungler, looks like... And our mid lane. Ah, yes, our mid lane's in Big there, too. Big slam. It's a 2v2. <laughs> My producer's giving me the most important updates right now. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> some tips, some tricks, and some other stuff. So, now we're 15, 16 minutes in. We're starting to get more into the team fights. As you can tell, we've got yes. four mid, and they've got about that. So we'll be starting to see some real action here. Yes. We're trying to just chunk down that turret. Kills are now 19-14, our favor, looking great. Uh, we have 31,000 gold, and they have 27, nearly 28,000. So See, we're, that's a we great thing to mention. Advantage. We're about 4,000 gold up, which is like a full item on somebody, so that can be a massive advantage. Um, and as you can tell, we're just kind of trying to chunk down that turret. Um, just keep pressing the advantage, making them respond there. So for the symbols up top next to the gold, from, let's just focus on the blue side. From left, left to right, what do they mean? So that number of dragons taken. That's two. Okay. Um, those are also the symbols right underneath our gold. We got the um, hex tech and the chem tech dragons. Mm -hmm. um, the next dragon's been come going to be coming up here any minute. The next symbol over. That's the Shelly that we saw. We got and then dropped. It's gorgeous. And then the four is the number of turrets taken. Taken so or killed. So okay. the no so we have t killed four turrets of theirs. They've only killed two turrets of ours. And they haven't taken any drakes, or you know we have Shelly. pure jungle dominance at this point. Wow, we're doing things are looking great for us. Things the are looking great. Are the giant flying blob of slime is <laughs> flying across advantage. the map and making a huge difference. And we just watched Timo get another kill top, and you know. You could really see how he's turned the game around. Now he's getting that poke, that damage down on Allowy, and there's not much he can do. So, overall, we've turned around the lanes that we're losing, and this should hopefully, pending any silly mistakes. Ooh, that was like a second and a half. Wow, kills are now 23 to 15. <laughs> Still our favor. We're 18 minutes in. We, our... sh we should have... I mean, look at the damage our ADC wow. is putting down. He's just chewing through these enemy champs. Pending anything, this should be a pretty consistent walk down the lanes. Get the turrets, keep applying the pressure. Yeah. It looks like we're keeping things in the red side of the map. We are. Okay. That's how we know we're still applying pressure. Now, they're doing a really good job here at not overextending. Overextending, yes. you can get caught out, they can get the kill, and the tur tides can turn really quickly. Mm -hmm. In League, I know I'm I'm probably going to shout cast or curse my guys, let's be honest here, because I'm saying it's looking really good. Well, knock on wood, don't worry. <laughs> are these real wood tables? I'm not sure if they are. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> um, but see here, our mid lane kind of got caught out, and now they're going to get some kills. We're going to see if we can't turn it around, but they're 5 Ving, and we're all over the place. Mm -hmm. 
Our so ADC is coming in really good. He's beating the retreat pretty well. He's very, very low health if you take a look. That's what I meant by overextending. Now, okay. the good news is we kept up the, the pressure top and bot lanes. So it's not a complete loss. But you have to be very careful as you're pushing. The enemy team is going to feel back into a corner. And they're going to try anything possible to just get out. So we'll see. Um, they're... They're doing a pretty decent push down mid lane. Our mid laner, who was in the bot lane, is coming in. They're chunking our turret, but we've got the damage. Now they've overextended, so we're going to flip the tables again and just chew through them. Wow. That Lucian is... Yeah, another double kill by Jedi Ninjas, I believe. That is. Ooh. That's Truman. He's doing a very good job in our bot lane right now. He doesn't even like bot laning. It's his second choice. He prefers <laughs> to mid lane. Amazing. <laughs> We're currently having the gold advantage, the kill advantage, the drake advantage, and the turret advantage. Ooh, yeah. We are winning yes. on all fronts. We are going for Baron right now. Um, it's an interesting play. Most of them are dead or on the other side of the map. So it's a pretty good play. Should be pretty safe, not contested. Just going to chew through it a little bit. Um, the enemies are looking for the cross map objective, the drake. Um, that's a 3v1 on our ADC, who's going to take three kills before he goes down. And we have and got, we got Baron. Baron. We got Baron. We got Baron. We did. That is wonderful. And thanks to that 1v3 stand, we also are going to be able to get that next Drake, which will put us at three, uh, most likely. It looks like we're positioning for that. It looks like our jungler's doing it. The cohesion on the team is just amazing. Though. They are moving together very, very, very well. It's only been Wee! a few Wine weeks. <laughs> I cannot take Zack seriously as a champion. Like, he's a giant green Hulk blob of slime <laughs> that goes throwing himself around the map. It's uh, beautiful. Now, here we see the enemy top laner, Alawi. Um, she's doing what she does best. Alawi's ult and abilities and lifesteal really let her just 1v5 get it down. So she did get a couple kills in there. We're not going to get Drake as easily as I'd hoped, but we're applying the pressure top lane instead. And that's just really how the game goes. If you're not winning in one spot, pivot, split push, win somewhere else. And that's what we're doing really, really well. And we're kind of destroying right now, to be completely honest. You Kills know, and we're only 21 minutes in. And, like, I refuse to spectator curse them, but, like, they're just kind of curb stomping the other team. Yes, and <laughs> right now our team is approaching and we're gonna get the Drake, Drake. and... Yeah. yeah, successful. We have three Drakes and 41,000, uh, sorry, 44,000 gold and 30 kills over their 19. This is And I'm going to pretend I don't hear them all laughing and hooting and hollering over there. They can celebrate. It's they can, they they can, can celebrate. They can. This is compared to our last game, which was a slog and we didn't end up winning. This is a much cleaner well executed but see you took four of them to bring him down and he almost killed one like this is a much better executed team comp and it's just it's clicking and flowing yes. and they look good back with the jungler looks like he's farming a little bit is that my right he is that? he is um his jungle pet is fully upgraded it's that little green thing that's following him around you read my mind i was just about to ask about his jungle pet it was um that's moss stomper not the most traditional jungle pet you see of the three the one you see the least but cute little guy cute little iguana that goes wah, 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 behind you <laughs> um he's probably just farming for the gold at this point the jungle enemies give better gold than mm -hmm. general minions so they're still good to get, even when you don't need them to upgrade your smite. That's interesting. So, um, we're focusing a little bit on... That is the enemy team's jungle pet just fully upgrading there. Okay. That's entertaining. I'm being watched and pointed at now. And... <laughs> oh, I just saw purple guys on the screen. Who were they? Uh, they might have been some raptors. Okay. Yeah. Um... That's just, wee flying slime. I really need to start taking Zach more seriously. Just pulls him back into the rest of the team. Here comes everybody else. They're going to try and get the damage down, but our team's going to surge around that support. That was a gorgeous ult from the enemy team's bard. Unfortunately, it doesn't end up saving him um, or doing much of anything. Yeah, he's kind of getting cornered right now. 
He tries to leave, but that is unsuccessful. He tried very, very hard, but when you have a giant Hulk flying slime chasing after you... That's a little difficult. It's a little difficult to and escape And it looks from. like we're pushing into the Nexus. We are. That's the first inhib down. Um, top inhibs shortly oh, following. Two. Wow. This is going by Our team has been split pushing the entire time, and they haven't been responding because they've been so focused mid. And that's the thing. We have the advantage. So if they focus on our mid guys to try and get those kills around Drake that we saw, our top lane keeps winning. If they focus on top lane, we win other places. Um, this should be pretty smooth. We have to be careful to not overextend. They have a lot of CS ults on their side that we're seeing with the Zoe and the Bard. Mm -hmm. But if we play it just a little bit safer, wait for some of those super minions to come in that are spawning out of base right now, we should be absolutely gorgeously fine. There's the flying slime. There's the damage from the ADC. Three dead. Just so four dead. smooth. And, and he survives the turret shot. I don't even want to ask how many hit kill. points he had left. Uh, Wow, and, and we're on the, the inhib and a celebratory ultimate into the enemy fountain. <laughs> Amazing. It was gorgeous. Yes, 25 minutes. 25. That in professional play, that is insane. anything between 20 and 30 minutes is a bit of a curb stomping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um that is yeah. a I don't know if we're re we're going to be able to see the stats yes. come up. Um I haven't actually ever spectated a game through the end, so I don't know what happens after this. I think it just freezes here. So the final kill score is 38 to 21, 52 gold on our side, 44,000 gold on their side. We have three drakes, one Shelly, 10 turrets, while they had three turrets, no Shelly, and no drake. <laughs> Behind the team. Wasn't that amazing? So, Kaz... <laughs> Welcome back. I'm going to go talk to my team. I will be back and get a set up for another game here pretty soon. Thank you for sitting with us, coach. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful playmanship. Uh, playmanship? That's a that's a word now from our <laughs> from our team. Just beautiful cohesion, nice teamwork. Everybody was filling in where they needed to be and like the coach said when the opponents would focus on bot lane our top lane would absolutely take over pushing and just destroying to be completely honest i i, I saw some good plays and i i learned a lot uh a lot more than i was expecting to definitely yeah. my uh, expertise and knowledge in league is still very much in its infancy so, same uh, same but i was very impressed with what i saw today um i have a lot of hope for these players and this team throughout our nace season uh and uh hopefully we get to continue seeing gameplay of this high quality yeah uh, i mean there's as our season starts will we be filming another match I um, believe there's going to be tonight? another match. I, I think so. Yes, we'll be streaming another match. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back soon. Thank you.
lovely username. Hello, welcome back. We're on to our second match with our League of Legends team. Isn't that amazing? So, right, you're right, that is an amazing name. <laughs> <laughs> I finally saw it, sorry. <laughs> it looks like we're playing on the red side. Uh, I feel like now is a good time to remind our viewers that we're not in League, uh, we're, we're a League of Legends team, but we're not playing League matches yet, so we're just playing against um, internet randoms. So we end up with usernames like Laser Rabbi, which is actually pretty cool. And then that Zillion nickname, which we're just not we're just not gonna talk about. Yeah, so we're just gonna stick to commentating on the current <laughs> battle in bot lane. Wow. <laughs> um, while I don't approve of Zillion's username, um, Zillion's a very interesting camp. He's a time god. Um, so he casts like time bombs and that like steering wheel thing on his back is actually yes. a clock. That checks out, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, they really believe in like their stick uh, when they commit to a stick. So a couple interesting things to note. Uh, we've got the same folks playing wow. lane as we did last game. Is it um, the same characters as well? Or? No, we have changed. So our Teemo became a Yone. Am I not coming through? Yeah. Oh, I can just yell louder. <laughs> <laughs> um, our Zach became a Sojuani. Our mid lane is running the same. Um, between the two of us, he only has one mid lane champ, so he will always be running Octon when he's in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. um, and then our ADC and our support both switched. Um, one thing to note is that the enemy jungler is Briar. That is a brand new champion. She is just released on Tuesday. Whoa. Yes. So will he be played in League yet? Uh, not when we start. A champ has to have been released for about two weeks mm -hmm. per the um, NACE rules to be able to be played. That way everybody kind of has a chance to get used to her. So this is her we're seeing um, in our top lane. She's ganking our lovely top laner. Um, we'll, they have some time to get used to her before she actually is approved for competitive play. Um, a couple okay. patches in between now and then too. So we could see what happened to Nefiri, who was the last new champ who got released, happen here mm -hmm. as well, where it's a whole bunch of nerfs. Um, I don't think that's going to really happen here. She seems pretty balanced. I've played a good chunk of games against her these past couple days. For a brand new champ, they actually got the balance pretty right, which is very difficult for them to do, apparently. Amazing. So. Looks like we don't have any kills right now. We're farming. We're in the farming stage this still. This is a much more normal game than last game. You know, last game there were already like six kills on the board. Yes. I hear. Yes. Um, it's farming and it's normal. Oh, that's going to be a flash and an ignite. And that is going to be first blood to the enemy mid laner. Not um, the best it, start. It did cost the enemy mid laner both of their summoners, though. Mm -hmm. So it's not okay. the end of the world. Um, there's about five, six minute cooldowns on those. So it's unfortunate, yes, but nothing that our auction can't come back from. All right, and right now we're in the top lane again with Iray playing what character? Uh, that is Yone. Um, he's a samurai type guy. I, you know, that was probably pretty obvious based on the katanas. Mm hmm. Um, he can, d his big thing is he can like separate into his soul form. And separate from his body, um, and then go whack stuff and kill people, and then return to his body. Um, Interesting. I'm sure we'll see that come into play a lot in team fights. That was a gorgeous kill from our bot lane. It did take uh, the support to ignite. So like we saw in the mid lane, with them needing to burn some summoners, it's early enough. We're burning some summoners here. Oh, we I got a kill on each side now. That's We do. We do. Um, as mu I know they're the enemy team, but that Cho'Goth skin is just mm, impeccable. Mm -hmm. It's literally Gentleman Cho'Goth. He wears a top hat. That is and, amazing. Like, the dance emote is literally him like tipping a top hat. Um, we've got a fascinating battle here in Dragon Pit. The bot lane did not help the jungler in time, so our jungler died, and then the enemy was able to secure that Drake. Um, really Unfortunate. Really great tactic. Let the opponent do all the work and then come in for the cleanup kill been known to do that one once or twice myself in the jungle yes. but it's a bit unfortunate valid tactic but we'd prefer it not to be used against us exactly <laughs> we, want it to, we want to be the ones using it <laughs> um see that's Ooh. his soul form that little red line thingy my bopper iray was just silenced moving back to yeah. 
I, um, is that into antithesis? Antithesis, yeah. Antithesis. I was close. He's not on the team. You don't have to learn it. Also, it took okay. me like a year for him to be polite enough to correct me on how to say it. So our guest player, <laughs> mid lanings. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's been nice enough. Maybe because he lives with me. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll nice see. enough to agree to do some scrims for us when we have some players out at work, and when I'm here with you guys instead of playing. Um, I'll probably be playing most Thursday nights, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Our Lux seems to be... That's a Nico. Lux and Nico. So it wasn't a 1v2, it was a 2v2? Yes. Okay, d just checking. That yes. So um, that um, Tiger, Blue Essence Babe, can't wait till he changes that username, um, <laughs> is playing Nico, who is a chameleon, so she can become pretty much anything on the map. Um... She can't become enemy champions, but that's about the only thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of fun. Ooh, I think our mid lane is going to get shut down here. Ooh, okay. Okay, enemy mid lane decides not to push it too, too far. And then Ooh. he casts ult and just one more ignite kill on our mid laner. Um, mm -hmm. Back in the top lane. Uh, we've got some big stuff coming. There's a gank from the enemy jungler coming in. A lot of CS going down. I don't think with that airborne he will have to flash to get away and get killed in turret range, unfortunately. We um, have unfortunate stats to report. Our enemies, so the blue, it has one drake, 14,000 gold, and four kills over our zero drake, 12,000 gold, and one kill. But hopefully it'll... Things will turn around. League has been known to do that. Things can shift very Especially quickly. Yes. Coming from behind. We yes. You don't do <laughs> super great. Um, the good news is that the one kill we have is on our ADC. So wonderful. He's got the gold. He'll be scaling. He'll hopefully be getting items. Trying to come in a little bit more. Um, it's pretty tit for tat. I do want to draw attention to the fact that the enemy jungler is ganking our mid lane and is going to get another kill. While our jungler has been invading their jungle. That's a Nico ult. That's going to be another kill for our ADC. Ooh. Do I see Shelly on the map? Shelly has spawned up in her little thing. Nobody's taken her yet. That's a one for one trade. We're feeling pretty good about that. Looks like our ADC is going to keep pushing it and get a double down there. Wonderful. Unfortunately, our jungler got a little too big for his britches on that invade. Mm -hmm. Got caught out by their mid lane. But it's okay. You know, I have confidence. Like, all three of those kills are on our ADC. He's going to become mm -hmm. ouchy. Uh, she, actually. Vayne is a she. But, anyway. Yeah, it looks like things are going pretty well. The team's farming. You know, uh, when we look at the levels, top lane's winning. Um, bot lane's really winning both our adc and our supporter up by two levels so that's really good and then jungle and mid aren't going quite as well for us but like i said i really do think that our bot lane can carry and that we can have a nice smooth comeback mm -hmm. like i always say anything can happen in a game of league right anything can happen there's our support roaming up mid to try and offer some extra guidance guidance support that's what a support does um there's the enemy jungler Yes, Nico just split her body. And it looks like he has his jungler pet, the... I f I'm forgetting the names. No, uh, that's all right. I need to see what color it is. It was red. It was red. Uh, then it was... The, it was fire, right? Fire. Oh, ooh, I should know this. I'm coming up with both of them except the red. Scorch Claw. Scorch Claw. There we go. All right. Um, that's so. a ooh, 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 ooh. flash for the kill, but we had the flash anyway, so that's a nice shutdown from our mid laner. Um, Beautiful. Unfortunately, our support did die for it, so it was a one for one. But, you know, at this point, those shutdowns are coming kind of key, so it'll help us catch back up. We are going after <laughs> Shelly. Doesn't look like there's going to be any um, interference on the map on that one. So hopefully we take that uncontested. Um, ideally, it's looking like it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, second Drake is up, so it'll be interesting to see if we immediately pivot to that or what happens. 
Our ADC oh. is very gutsy using that two-level advantage, and unfortunately does not quite pay off. Zillion was resurrected. He was. Ugh, unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, not for them, but yeah, that's kind of what he does. Um, our top laner still wailing on that enemy Shogoth. Looks like we immediately drop Drift mid. Going to try and um, get some gold into our mid laner, try and even those things out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Our support's kind of man in the fort down there. <sighs> so it looks like blue team still has the kill and gold and tower advantage, but we did secure Shelly. That's really helped them close yes. that gold lead just a little bit. Um, We're catching up rather quickly. It could be a little faster. Um, I don't think this is going to be quite the pouncing that the last game was because remember the mm -hmm. last game finished in 25 minutes and we're already 13 in here. But, you know, they're not all going to be like that. It's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, it's a game of patience. It's a game of patience, and it's a game all about the mind. Um, that's the enemy jungler. So we did take that break. They tried to steal it. We have a 3v2 on the team fight here. Beautiful kill. Second one, absolutely gorgeous. That is how you do a dragon team fight. Our top laner is going to get ulted by Cho'Goth, unfortunately. Go down. Um. I did notice something while there was the team fight at the Drake. It said that the hex gates were activated. Yes. Um, so, um, let's see. Let me... Looks like we're going to go turret diving and get that kill and not die. That was a very nice play from Truman. Um, the hex techs are those little portals you see. Um, I'll point one out once it's actually on the map. It's a special. It's each Drake when they become the soul does something cool and special. Oh, I see. Um, so this is one of those Drake abilities. We are turret diving again. Gonna get the cleanup. Gonna get out of there with very low life, but still good. Our bot lane's really just putting on the pressure now. Gonna keep going for it. And like I said, we're gonna be playing through that bot lane a lot, counting on them to get fed, carry, and then sweep up the rest. Sounds and right now. Wonderful. It's working out pretty well. Mm -hmm. It looks like. So other than kills, we're pretty close. Oh, we've pretty we much um, closed the gold lead. Um, mm -hmm. We got another turret, so we're doing pretty well. One to one on Drake, and we have a Shelly, so we're starting to win those neutral objective fights now. And we're catching up on kills, which is great. We are. Um, kills aren't everything, but they are yes. certainly a lot. Okay. Um, so it looks like um, Briar is going to get caught out again from our team. Unfortunately, in the bot lane, we're going to see a 1v2, and he's not quite going to get it thanks to that resurrect off of Zillion. And then the entire rest of the team responding top lane. So right now they're kind of trying to push us down top lane. Should give our mid laner the ability to roam a little free. Fortunately, I think this is the end of our top laner. It is. He got tower dived just like we were doing bot lane. Blue turret has been destroyed. So um, our mid laner is going to go do some cleanup on that bot lane. Get a couple kills, hopefully, pretty nice. Now, the wonderful thing about Auction that you might have noticed is that when he gets a kill, um, within three seconds of damaging an enemy, anybody who that enemy killed gets revived. Oh. So, on um, that fight, he revived our ADC, which is huge. Um, really cuts down those, you know, 40 mm -hmm. second respawn timers that you get towards the end of the game. Wow. Can be a game changer. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that Antithesis is very good at getting those revives. Um, he's revived me more times than I can count <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, so that'll come in pretty handy as we start getting later into the game and getting those longer respawn timers. It looks like Lux is heading towards mid lane. Nico. Oh, sorry, that is Nico. That I was thinking Nico. about Lux because pink. I saw pink. I apologize. <laughs> Only every Lux main on the planet is going to be upset about it. And oh. that's not a big deal because we don't really care about the Lux mains. Aren't you a Lux main? <laughs> we don't talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not just a Lux main. I do. I like my CS champs. Um, I play a lot of Nico. I like the champs where I can just kind of freeze down the battle and let my team do the rest of the damage. Um, Lux is very good at that, so is Nico, so are some other ones. 
That's kind of the camp I play when I play support. Uh, we might be seeing quite a bit of that out of me later on this year. But right so, now, we're just getting some great kills using some ignites, some flashes, wow. some pitches. It's moving quickly now. It is. That was a two for two trade. Um, but we're going to try and get this Briar. We're pushing her up towards our side of the map, so she doesn't really have anywhere to go. And she was taken down. Yes, she was. Um, we've rotated our lanes now, if you've noticed. So that's our ADC in the top lane. Mm -hmm. Trying to apply that pressure, get some solo XP, get even further ahead than he already is. And, and he takes turret. down the turret. Um, a couple flashes coming out to chase down. He's going to try and catch our... His name is Cho'Goth. Big Stompy. Um, if Cho'Goth isn't kept in check, that's going to be a real issue towards the end of the game. His big thing is tank, so mm -hmm. he can get 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 hit points and be just truly hard to bring down. It was smart of our top laner to start backing off when um, Zillian started approaching because that would have turned into a 2v1 battle. And if you look at where the enemy team is, they are all down there. That would have very quickly spiraled out of control. Mm -hmm. He did not overextend himself there, and I am quite Perfect happy playing. with that. Um, of course, the emotes coming out. Zillian's not doing well enough to be emoting on us, but, you know, I digress. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Emotes are fun. <laughs> um, looks like we're setting up for another trait. Um, hopefully, this one's going to be uncontested as well. We do have four, so we're really just going for the oh, started yeah. and shred option. And, and the it works. you take it, the less time they have to challenge it. And looking at the stats now, blue team is one Drake, zero. The formal name is Rift, correct? Yeah, it Rift. Is Rift. Uh, two it towers, <laughs> thirty-three thousand gold and sixteen kills, compared to our two Drakes, one Shelly, three towers, thirty-three thousand gold and thirteen kills. I think Vandals are doing pretty gap. good. We've closed the gap pretty good. Yeah, the Vandals are doing great. Um, it looks like they're now going. A blue team taking that rift. They're going for the same option of just swarm it and beat it down. We're and they are that. successful. Um, they are, unfortunately. That'll be one rift to one, and there are only two in the game. So mm. it'll be interesting to see where they play that. Antithesis is in a little bit of trouble now, running towards the rest of the team. We'll see. We might get an interesting team fight here. We might not. It depends on what the enemy team decides to do, how hard they decide to push. Yeah, they have alt. They have four in the mid lane. They do. Um, probably setting up to drop that rift in mid lane. Try and push it down the mid. Now they're splitting. We'll see where they end up going. Uh, I'm not sure what their game plan is right now. Um, we'll see. Do they, where they end up. Our team's kind of just clearing the jungle. If you take a look, we have a lot of vision in that bot jungle, so we know where they're not, which gives mm -hmm. us a lot of information as we're looking to move through. It's giving our mid laner complete knowledge that he is completely fine to clear those waves and start pushing out bot again. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are congregating around mid lane and the uh, upper jungler jungle areas. Yep. Um, mid lane is the fastest way to get to the Nexus. Just because, you know, it's the straightest yeah. path. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, True. So they're probably thinking that they're just going to try and punch it down the middle. That was an across the map ult from Briar. That is one thing she has that is very unique. Um, she sends out, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but she sends out a thing across the map. And once it hits somebody, she can fly as far as they were to them. So she went wow. from like mid lane all the way up, got the kill. That's an absolutely brutal ult. Um, our mid laner is now trying to 1v4. I think he thought he had some more help than he did in there, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Got CS, got taken down pretty quick. He's not the tankiest. Can't really survive a 4v1. Um, Looks like it's a big team battle in mid lane here. Everybody's just kind of jostling for but position at this point. We're going to try and keep him off. Um, that Rift Herald still has not been popped. Um, so I'm thinking it'll be popped in lane here to try and take down our turret. Um, that was almost a zillion kill, but it's resurrect. And there comes the Rift Herald. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to bully our jungler to death here in the red buff hit, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Fighting until the very last minute. And they're going to push that Rift right into our inhib turret and almost take mm -hmm. it out. Um, they're definitely pushing really hard down mid lane. Um, 
our supports coming in, helping secure that kill. There's the enemy jungler, but we're going to get her stuck under turret range. There's that revive coming in from our mid laner, bringing back our jungler about 20 seconds early. That is amazing. Um, as you can tell, now the tide is pushed. Enemies are running away. We're pushing in, and all the emotes are coming out. <laughs> um, we're going to try and capitalize on that. As you can tell, our top laner is heading top, so we're going to try and split push a little bit, get what we can, and not overextend. We are still losing, unfortunately, but we're getting there. Um, looks like we're going for the early Baron. Well, okay, Baron spawns at 20 minutes. Um, I'm not sure we have enough hit points between everybody to take it, but we are going to bring all five in, try and get that. This will be a good way to even out that gold lead, get some extra mm -hmm. damage going, try and turn the tide a little bit. It seems like it's going to be a successful maneuver as long as zone interrupts, and it is taken uncontested. Yep, and they're going to use those empowered recalls of Baron offers to just get back out, heal, recharge, and then probably push all the lanes at once. Um, looks like everybody's kind of heading mid right now. Looks like next Drake is about to be up, if it's not already. Yeah, less than a minute on that one. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if there's an interesting Drake challenge here. We have Baron. We should win it, but I'm not sure. It kind of depends all on team positioning at this point. Yeah, it looks like majority of the blue is in that bottom half of the map. So are our guys. We're are really they waiting for the Drake? Is that what's going on? I think on? we're going to see a 4v4 in the Drake here. Um, looks like their top lane's split oh. pushing, and our top lane's going to try and respond and defend. Um, but the rest of it, we're really just all jostling for positioning around that Drake. Going to try and see a 4v4. Um, it's just whoever overcommits first is unlikely. Now, the Drake does come into play here because the Drake does do damage. Mm -hmm. So right now it's Agor and the blue team, so it's on our side. And it but looks like we took over the battle. We do. Um, uh, we're they're try coming and back. It, get it down. Unfortunately, enemy team is going to come in, steal it. That Briar ult coming in across the map again. Um, it is now. What is? Resurrect. Couple kills coming in from the ult. We're trying really, really hard, getting some good kills, but not just not quite able to finish off some of those health bars looking like it's going to be a five for two and we lose the drake unfortunate but this is not impossible to come back from it's not um it's it, we just need to regroup a little bit um focus pretty heavily on defense focus on not letting that gentleman show goth who is looking very dapper each of his little horns has a hat it's actually adorable as it's tearing into our base right now i love his little coat it's adorable. And yes. you know, if you're going to lose and watch it take your base just, while just you're dead, it, it, just appreciate. At least you're appreciating it being cute. You and know? he, mm -hmm. they took out our inhibitor. They did. Now our team's back. So we probably have about Pushing one back more a team bit. fight left if we lose. If we lose that one last team fight, they can probably sweep in, take those two turrets. They've got the damage for it. Mm -hmm. So ideally, we're just going to be trying to play on the defensive not overextend, just bide our time, get some gold, get all of that. We are still only about 2k gold behind, so it's not an insurmountable lead. Yeah. But. It's interesting. The current status is two drakes for blue and four towers, 46,000 gold and 25 kills, compared to our two drakes. One Shelly. That's a Baron. So it That's a Baron, sorry. It right. from Rifts to it, Barons. It switched. To <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. It is the Baron. Three towers, 45,000 gold, and 17 kills. And Hopefully. This might just be the team fight that decides it. We try to engage, we come back, but the enemy jungler is going to come in for a pinch and there, and they're going to collapse. And that's our ADC at half health. That's the ult setup from Briar right into the misfortune ult. That is Ooh. carnage. That's three, that's four. Um, they are pushing. Our top and our support are running for all they're worth. Our jungler is probably the only one left alive. And they are willing to just sweep in. And like I said, all it takes is losing one team fight and they've got the damage to just obliterate these turrets. Our jungler's gonna yes. try to make a last stand on her turret. I don't think he'll be able to do it 1v5. And with that ace, there's uh, 
14 seconds before anybody comes back so they can just clean up our base. That they can, and it looks like that is exactly what they're going to do. Yep. They they're took out the red turret, and now they're going for our nexus. This is really sad to watch from over here. Yeah, it, it is. It is unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. We it's a learning. A, it is. Uh, it's we a lost process. a couple of key team fights, but, you know, that's something for me to work on with them for next time. Mm -hmm. um, there were some good points, though. There were some good points. The Shelly. First rift was good. Yes, first rift was um, good. A couple really good team fights. A couple yeah. not so bright moments. Uh, we just needed to work on that cohesion. We saw the cohesion a lot better first game. That so did. we just need to work on that cohesion and responding. And really, that Briar ult did us in. Yeah. Flying across the map. Yeah. It's a newer character, so it's going to take some time to learn how to combat him. Her. Her. Um, crazy her. psychopath blood lady. That is now how I'll forever remember her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's going to take some time. Crazy psych psychopath serial killer who's completely different character <laughs> notable difference <laughs> <laughs> all right it seems like this will be an interesting night this it, was an interesting night it I apologize. was an interesting night it was fun i've got some good stuff to um, hash out with them afterwards and you know i like what i'm seeing mm -hmm. even in the games we're losing we've got some good moments and we've still got a couple weeks before actual tournament play starts well so thank you for joining me of course it's always a pleasure yes and thank you guys for watching our league of legends team as we are working towards i love how i'm saying league of legends going into league that's it's that's, it's a league league it's not a it's all a league confusing. league <laughs> Love the complete repetition and alliteration. It's great. It's great. It's great. There's not any issues with it <laughs> whatsoever. All right. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful night. Night, guys.